All right, step one for the installation will be to install our Bluebolt gateway. This gateway requires a broadband internet service, and I'm going to plug this in first to my Ethernet connection. The other end of this cable is connected to my internet router. Once that's connected, now I can actually plug it in for AC power. And naturally, I'm using a Panamax floor model product to protect my Blue Bolt gateway and make sure my investment lasts me for years to come. When you do turn it on, you'll see the link and activity lights start to fire up. And after a few seconds, the network light will also fire up. And if you're connected to the Blue Bolt service, it will turn blue. So look for the blue light there. The rest are on the stand, and I'm ready to go. Now I can actually go online and add the device to my location screen. When I come into my location page, I'm going to see that I have no locations. I need to add a location there. It's going to ask me for some general information, just a name and location. I'm going to say it's my home office here. So now, inside the home office location, I have no devices. I want to come in and say add device. Now it's going to ask me, based upon its connection method, what I need to do in order to get the device added into mybluebolt.com. It's asking me for that MAC address and challenge key. All right, now that my MAC address and challenge key are all plugged in, I can register that gateway to my account. This says I need to add a new device by turning on wireless joining. So once wireless joining is turned on for the Bluebolt gateway, I can come over and hold down the top two buttons on the MD2. Once you have all your MD2s joined to that specific gateway, then you can tap on Add New Device. Now in this case, it's going to say I need to give it a name, name the two outlets individually. If I have a bunch of different MD2s installed and I don't know which one I'm actually talking about, I can tap on flash the lights and blink those uh, outlet indicators there on the top. Name this uh, MD2 office desk. And then we'll see back on my location page, my MD2ZB. I can tap on that device itself. I'll get some energy management statistics back on that um, MD2ZB. It's still doing its little flash dance over there on the right hand side. If I want to turn on one of those outlets, I can just tap on outlet number one, the toggle power button, talks out to the internet, down to the gateway, over to the MD2. Pretty slick. I can also tap on outlet number two and individually turn it on or off. Talks out to the internet, down to the gateway, right over there to the MD2. This sums up the installation screen for the mybluebolt.com. Thanks for watching.